Can you smell her at no, all? No, I've got my own body odor perfume. <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 biggest arguments in British TV history. I'm sorry, I, I really don't. Uh, what are we doing? You judge children. Yes. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at some of the most heated, intense, and scandalous fights that have ever appeared on the small screen. Which arguments shocked you the most? Leave your pick in the comments below. Number 10. Dennis Skinner and David Cameron, House of Commons The House of Commons can be a rowdy place at the best of times, and Labour MP Dennis Skinner was notorious for speaking his mind, even if it meant getting suspended. In 2016, he accused Prime Minister David Cameron of hiding his shadowy personal finances, calling him Dodgy Dave. I didn't receive a proper answer then. Maybe Dodgy Dave will answer it now. When Speaker John Burko called for order and asked him to take back his comments, he declined. Other MPs weren't the only ones to find this hilarious. Skinner, who was suspended 10 times over his career, not only called the Prime Minister Dodgy to his face, but he refused to take it back. This man has done more to divide this nation than anybody else. He's looked after his own pocket. I still refer to him as Dodgy Dave. That's the kind of blunt honesty that people love, and we're not used to hearing it from politicians nowadays. Number 9. Malia and Katie – Love Island Love Island has seen its fair share of drama, but Malia was probably the fastest contestant to ever cause an uproar. After coming into the villa in 2016 and going on a date with Scott, she had an awkward introduction to the girl he was coupled with, Katie, who knocked her drink onto Malia, supposedly by accident. The new girl wasn't having it, and the pair immediately started shouting and shoving each other. I think we both overreacted, to be honest, Katie admitted afterwards. Out of all the Love Island fights, this was memorable for coming out of absolutely nowhere. Malia may have only lasted a few hours on Love Island, but she certainly left her mark. Number 8. Piers Morgan and Diggory Haddocke Good morning, Britain. I, I find it repulsive when I see these big corpulent American tycoons coming over, blasting at rhinos and then posing for their lovely pictures. Piers Morgan has been at the centre of countless fights on British television over the years, whether people have been arguing with him or about him. His most furious argument, however, may have been with the big game hunter Diggory Haddocky, who came on Good Morning Britain to advocate the hunting of large animals for sports. There are also far more humane ways of disposing of elderly or dying animals than letting some corpulent American come over with his little howitzer, blow their brains out and pose for his trophy picture. Again. As a nation of animal lovers, we usually don't warm to hunters. So it naturally became a heated exchange, as Piers called the practice repulsive, and Diggory accused him of tabloid sensationalism. Hunting is an emotional subject for a lot of people, and this argument caused enough controversy that Diggory was invited back multiple times. You need to move away from the emotional it, argument. It is emotional. Well, I'm, I see, and I'm, I'm afraid I have seven. to intervene because oh, otherwise we're not going to get to Fine. the rest of the interview. Hang on. Number seven, Ablisa, the X Factor. Hang on, hang on. X-Factor has given us countless iconic auditions over the years, ranging from the shockingly talented to the memorably awful. Abby and Lisa stood out from the crowd for being unusually aggressive as the pair tried to fight the audience, judge Natalie, and each other. Like a lot of early auditions, you can't help but laugh even as you cringe. Can, can I be honest with you two? You have the worst attitude of any contestants I have ever met. After insulting the judges and demonstrating some wobbly vocals, Lisa told the audience to stop booing, and Abby hit her friend in the face before leaving. Ab Lisa may not have made it to boot camp, but they made sure the nation remembered them with a fight that went down in X Factor history. 
Number six, Huey Morgan smashes a mug. Never mind the buzzcocks. Like, give me my own lyrics it's over okay. and over. It's part of the game, Huey. Never mind the buzzcocks always had a reputation for anarchy and a history of inviting musicians onto the show to ridicule them. One of the most memorable examples may be fun-loving criminals frontman Huey Morgan. During a round where the team had to finish the lyrics given by guest hosts Rizzle Kicks, Morgan smashed a mug out of frustration. The episode immediately became a landmark of secondhand embarrassment as team captain Phil Jupiter refused to make eye contact with Morgan and Rizzle Kicks tried to banter their way out of the situation. The meltdown was as funny as it was uncomfortable and showed viewers everywhere why you shouldn't annoy Huey Morgan while he's holding the cuppa. You need five points to win, but I'd maybe suggest not winning, otherwise Huey <laughs> might I get a bit cross. Number five, Peter and Jane come dine with me. In fourth place is me. Peter Marsh couldn't have known he was creating an iconic moment in British culture when he unleashed a Shakespearean monologue on his fellow come dine with me contestant, Jane. You won, Jane. After a week of competing to give the best dinner party, he announced her win by musing, what a sad little life, Jane dishing out some deadly insults and demanding that she got off his property. Because you have all the grace of a reversing dump truck without any tyres on. Peter's frustration led to one of the most hilariously harsh moments in the history of Come Dine With Me, inspiring countless memes and recreations. It's a great TV fight, not just because he's so eloquent, but also because at the end of the day, they're arguing over appetizers. Jane, take your money and get off my property. Number four, Katie Hopkins and Philip Schofield. This morning. Katie Hopkins is definitely one of the UK's most controversial figures. A name for me is a shortcut. It's and a really does, efficient does... way of working out what class that child comes from, do I want my children to play with them? One particular viral moment saw her completely humiliated when she appeared on This Morning to defend her harsh opinions on children's names. Hopkins criticized working class parents for using geographical locations, making fun of names like Brooklyn. Oh, so Brooklyn or London. Your or... child's called India. Yes, but you know, <laughs> just, that's because she's a Philip Schofield interrupted to point out that her child's name is India. Hopkins tried to continue speaking, but Holly Willoughby was in hysterics, and the rest of the nation reacted the same way. You judge children. Yes. On their names. Yes, Holly. There's nothing as satisfying as seeing a hypocrite be exposed on live TV. And nobody could take Katie's snobbish views seriously after they had seen that clip. Number three, Robert Downey Jr. and Krishnan Gurumurthy. Channel 4 News. I'm not saying that I'm I'm such a fantasist that I felt like I was Tony Stark. Channel 4 presenter Krishnan Gurumurthy has a reputation for winding up Americans. His interview with Quentin Tarantino in 2013 infamously led to the director threatening, I'm shutting your butt down. One moment that sparked a lot of conversation came from Guru Murthy interviewing Iron Man himself, Robert Downey Jr. D does that mean you're, you're not a liberal or that you came out of prison not being a liberal? Um, are we promoting a movie? After the presenter pushed Downey Jr. to talk about the more scandalous parts of his history, including his father and the drug problem that led to his arrest, the actor walked out calling Guru Murthy a schmuck. Some people thought the presenter had gone too far by bringing up those topics. On the other hand, some argued that the American actor was too sensitive. I'm sorry, I, I really don't. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, uh, well, I'm just asking questions, that's all. Right. Okay, okay. Bye. Thank you. Whichever side you land on, you have to agree that it made great TV. Number two, Gemma Collins and Bobby Cole Norris. The only way is Essex. I let you be rude to me and insult me. It ain't gonna happen again when you're doing it to my friends. No list of TV arguments would be complete without Towie. The reality show made Essex notorious for drama, love triangles, and fake tan. And Gemma Collins, or the GC as her fans call her, is the undisputed queen of reality TV fights. Gemma fell out with best friend Bobby in 2015 after a fight where he accused her of throwing him under the bus with another Towie castmate. No, but no, forget that, no, Gemma. This is where we will call out because it was Chloe Sims. That was Chloe that done that. Gemma then threw a drink in Bobby's face 
as he was held back by producers. Fans were astonished that the pair turned on each other, but they made up eventually, of course. Luckily, Gemma and Bobby are just as entertaining having a few drinks together as they are throwing them at each other. Number 1. Grace Jones and Russell Harty The Russell Harty Show Can you smell her at no, all? No, I've got my own body odor perfume. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try and keep it on a slightly higher level if we may. <laughs> For our number one pick, we're taking it back to the 80s and remembering a classic scrap between singer Grace Jones and TV host Russell Harty. In 1982, Jones appeared on Harty's chat show and slapped him live on air. Well, don't turn no, your no, back on me anymore. Turn, I can't look at you. Ah. <laughs> now, hold, hold, hold. Oh, oh, hold. Oh. <laughs> hold on. The legendary singer later explained in her autobiography that she was tired and felt Harty was ignoring her, saying, I was all dressed up like an Amazonian seductress and treated like the hired help. I thought this was no way to treat a guest. When the nation saw the shocking fights, raising sword, and the show even tried to get her back on air for a rematch. But we still have this iconic moment of British TV where Jones made it clear that she was not afraid to stand up for herself. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.